Hi, my name is Sean and welcome back to the Redwood House Workshop Build and House Remodel. I had planned this week to be working on ripping up the tile floors, but unfortunately it seems our house has other plans for me. Um, our furnace for the house actually died just a couple days ago, so unfortunately I'm going to have to take my attention away from the workshop for a little bit and focus my time more on getting the utilities in this house squared away. The good news is that, you know, this is a lot of work that we had to do for the workshop anyway. We'll be tackling all the electrical. We'll also be tackling the heating situation for the workshop. It's going to be more just house renovation for the foreseeable future, not really focused on workshop building. Um, but it should still be interesting. We'll be doing a lot of exploring of what's in the home. And it should be a lot of fun getting this house back to a nice, safe, pleasant place to live in over the next few months. Uh, so let's take a look at the utility room, just so you can see what we're dealing with right now. Right. So this is the crawl space. It is currently a pretty enormous mess. We have shelving falling apart, just random tiles, a toothbrush, nasty old cabinets. Um, for some reason, there's this really creepy lock, so you can lock yourself in. To the crawl space for some reason. I don't know why anyone would ever want to do that, but there is a lock on the door. You can see the lighting. Lights are just falling down. Water heater. We have a gigantic water heater. Rusted on the bottom, but it doesn't seem to be leak leaking at the moment. So this is one of the very few appliances in the house that is actually working. Uh, this is our furnace that just uh, died yesterday. It appears to have a bad heat exchanger and is leaking water and had a horrible propane exhaust smell outside the house that was like making me nauseous when I was working out there. So we currently have no heat in the house other than the fireplace. Um, this thing is completely out of commission. Here is some of the amazing wiring. This would be the doorbell transformer. Um, completely covered in dryer lint. You can see we got a chopped off wire here. I don't know what that is. Not gonna touch it. Uh, some random magazines, a case of beer, a tub of ice cream. So I think the first thing that we're gonna do is get rid of these light boxes and then these beams here they look like they're hollow. I have no idea what's inside them. I'm just curious to see if they're just completely hollow and I can completely remove them or if they have any sort of structure or wiring in them. I just want to know what's going on within these beams. So I'll be trying to get these down as well. So let's start with the light box, then move on to the beams. So here's what's in the beam. It looks like it's actually uh, the floor joists. So unfortunately, we're still gonna need the beams unless we were willing to sacrifice some ceiling height, which I don't think I am. Um, there's some steel going on in here. Not sure what the steel is for at this point. So the heating vent for the living room should be in this bay here. I'm just gonna crack it open and see what it looks like. So 
so yeah, so it doesn't look so good. So there is no duct work in these bays. They're just using the joist bays as the ducting. So you can see the register is down there and no ducts. So I'm back in the crawl space now. Um, I think what I'm gonna do now is just kind of vacuum and clean up. Let me just get a close up of kind of what we're dealing with in terms of the dryer lint that's just everywhere. So you can see um, like the insulation is just completely caked in lint and the wiring as well. And the insulation, I mean, it's not doing a good job. It's all separated from the subfloor up there. I think the best thing to do at this point is just kind of start gutting things and get a better look at what we have down here. So even though we're only the second owners of this house, it seems that it's had quite a history. Over the years, there have been quite a few subpar modifications that were made to the house, and we continue to uncover more and more as we explore. Rumor has it that at one point, a friend of the owner's son was homeless and he was living in the crawl space at nights. As unbelievable as that sounds, it certainly would explain the lock on the crawl space door and the random food and beer cases that were left down there. On top of that, there's clearly been a rodent problem in the past, judging by the amount of rat debris and poison that had been left down in the crawl space. Throw on top of that the dryer lint and the overall condition of the wiring, and I feel so much better, knowing that I'm going to be giving the house a fresh new start at its core, with all new electrical, insulation, and HVAC systems. This is every bit of insulation that was in the crawl space, except for a few scraps here and there. It's a pretty huge pile. So my next step is get this thing in some bags and load it up into my truck and take it away to the dump. So I got my new bags, my trash bags to bag up all this insulation. So I'm just gonna start putting all this insulation in those bags don't really know how many bags it's going to take. I'm guessing 15 bags. We'll see how close I get. Um, yeah, let's get started.
So I got it all in bags. In the end, it was 17 bags. Uh, not too bad. A lot of the bags have lost the vacuum that I sucked out of them. Doesn't look like that's gonna fit in my truck. So this looks like it's gonna be two trips to the dump. Very glad to be done with the insulation. And now I can move on to the next step, which is all of the wires and ductwork.